Well hi everybody and welcome to my video blog for day one's show jumping from the London Olympics. You'll have to excuse me, um, you're getting the blog from my bedroom. I was going to do it outside but given that that is what the weather's like, it is so crazy windy that I decided you could just have it as a backdrop while I stay inside the coziness of my room. Um, so we had a super night last night, it was the first uh, competition for our show jumping team and we fielded a great team this year. Hopefully this will be our, our team that really gets us up there in the show jumping world. Matt Williams was the first one to ride on a horse called Watch Me. Um, great to see Matt out there. Um, being from Victoria, I've, you know, Matt is from Tonnenbach and we see each other around the traps. I've seen him competing for years, comes from a great family and um, it's really inspiring to see that someone can come from um, a working um, attitude to show jumping. He's never gone out there and had super horses bought from day dot, um, travelled around, really put his heart and soul into it and is reaping the benefits of being now on the Australian Olympic team. So um, it's super inspiring for everybody out there that wants to go to uh, the Olympics for show jumping for Australia. Um, Matt unfortunately didn't have the greatest of starts and his horse watch me really took offence to fence five. Um, it seemed to count around the corner. Fence 5 of the bit was a big ox with a water tray underneath it and a few strides out just decided to nap and said he wasn't going near it. So Matt did as you do, turned around, reapproached the fence and the horse did exactly the same thing. Now, looking at that, you'd kind of think, wow, does this horse have an issue with water trays? But apparently it's never done that before. Um, so I really hope for Matt that he can go and figure out exactly what it is that's going to make this horse tick. Um, and for tonight's show, jumping for round two, when he's uh, still in the Australian team, that he can, um, you know, repair a few of the things that the horse did last time and have a good round. Um, our second rider was Julia Hargraves, again a Sydney girl, has based herself in Europe now and I thought did the most amazing round. I watched her round and I thought she and her horse beta just looked like the perfect pair. They were really in sync with each other. Her position was amazing. Um, funnily enough, I just listened to Chris Stafford's podcast on the show jumping and apparently Julia said, you know, I've had to change a little bit the way, you know, I'm riding. It's not as pretty as it used to be, but, you know, to cope with the European that time and going a bit quicker, I'd have to ride a little messier. I'm thinking, she didn't look messy. There wasn't a messy thing about her. Um, so really inspiring. Uh, and I just thought this looked like the kind of combination that could really blast everybody out of the water. So... Awesome job, Julia. Um, our next rider was uh, Edwina Tops Alexander, who's just on the top of her game, doing super well. I suppose there's a lot of pressure on her to do well, but she's such a professional that um, she'll be able to cope with anything anybody throws her. Little chestnut horse, such a cute little horse, goes like a little bit of a wind-up toy, but does it brilliantly, and looks like the sort of horse that'll be able to turn up to you know the tightest of rollbacks and um, jump for speed without an issue whatsoever. Um, so really inspiring to watch Edwina ride. And the fourth member, James Patterson Robinson, again coming from Victoria. James, I remember him when he was a, a showy coming from Geelong and he was always a beautiful rider. And it's interesting to see someone that used to win everything as a kid in the show ring is now representing Australia as a show jumper. Um, again, did a great round, just had one rail down. Um, hopefully the experience for him is going to make him more confident each time he comes out. And that that first round um, made him feel that, yep, you know, settled, got it out, got out, of, the, out of the road got some bigger jobs to do now and um, yeah he should be able to produce some really great stuff. Um, some super rounds going on at the moment. Uh, the British team look pretty good, the Dutch look fantastic. Um, just speaking from my perspective, from an eventer's point of view, it'll be really interesting to see once the course gets a little tougher, once the speed goes up because it really does test a horse's scope and some of the distances aren't the easiest but we are talking about the Olympic Games here and horses have got to be that good that they pull anything they can out of their back end. Um, so tonight's round we're going to be looking at the first round of the team competition and then the next night we'll, design, we'll decide the team medals. So let's hope that our fantastic Australian riders can uh, keep doing what they did uh, uh, yesterday. Matt, I hope it all goes really, really well for you, buddy. And uh, stay tuned. So we'll be having a look at a great round today, for, uh, the first round of the team. And let's see how we go. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Australia can bring home some team medal for the first time in show jumping. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave you with a beautiful, flustery, blustery vision of the outside world from my room. And then the really cute vision of the two best dogs in the whole entire world, Murphy and Pika, who are loving the fact that they just get to sleep inside. Excellent. All right, guys. Have a great time. I will see you later. Bye.